Gaffer, coming to the end of the pre-season training camp here in Spain, what have you seen in this week's training experience for the players and, and how pleased have you been with how they've integrated? I think it's been a good week in terms of uh, creating a different culture. Um, we've had a, you know two or three really good meetings. Um, expectations, the way you know, I want us to play. Um, I've also invited the chairman to, to have a chat with the, with the group. I think it was really, really important that they understand um, where he comes from. I think over the past couple of years, maybe some of the players would probably only see what he sees, what he says on Twitter. Um, so I thought for the chairman as well to, to get to know the players a bit better. Um, it was important that he stood up and you know and, and he, he spoke to the group for about 45 minutes and um, you know at the end of it, I think the lads understood the chairman a lot better and I think he got a better understanding of the group, which which was good. Um, but in terms of the training, it's it's been it's been an excellent week. Um, facilities are really really good. Um, you know it's it's everything we want really. Um, and the intensity uh, and the attitude, um, the hunger of the group, is is what stood out for me this week. And team spirit is something you're obviously trying to build in terms of making sure that that's tight knit. I think you showed when the players were doing the hill climb because they didn't all have to do that, did they? They, they did it together. <clears throat> yeah, not only that, it's it, the mentality's changed in the group in terms of um, you know when we're when we're at home, the under 18s have got certain little jobs they do. They bring the balls out, they bring the goals out, they bring the discs out. It's it's something you do when you're a scholar. Um, here everyone's mucking in. You know that they're carrying the goals as a team. They're they're picking up the water bottles, the balls. They you know the one group had to do a hill run. They all ended up doing it. Um, you know it's it, it's definitely definitely changed, and it's something that we need to make sure we we continue right through preseason. Yeah. The new signings seem like they've been here for for months, years. If in fact it shows how well they've been accepted into the group and what sort of characters they are as well. Yeah, excellent. You know I think. Um, one thing I said to, to, to the rest of the group uh, when they come in is that the lads are here, the ones who have come into the building are here for one thing and one thing only, and that's to win. Um, that's a big thing for us to share. They're not here thinking about what's going to happen to them in January, um, what's going to happen at the end of the season, are they going to get a move. Um, they're here to win, um, and uh, that was a massive thing in the recruitment, uh, you know, myself and the chairman and Barry over the summer, that the people who come in, are, are buying into what we what we want to do and you know that what we want to do is try and get out of this league this year um you know looking at the group this year uh, this week it's 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 a completely different contrast to the group i had last year um we had a good conversation in terms of uh, i think i mentioned at one of my press conferences last year about you know believing and uh, and we're going to get promoted even though right up until the coventry game we had a chance but Yes, listen, last year's gone. I can just sense that there's a different a different mentality and a different hunger about this group. Yeah. Michael Doughty obviously flew out to, to join us this week and I think we've seen at close quarters exactly what he can bring to the party. He's a, a very level-headed individual as well for the age that he is. Yeah, he's, he's a calm, calm person. You know, he's you can see it even in his play. Um, he, he takes it in a stride. He, 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 he's comfortable on the ball. He plays forward quickly. Um, he's going to be a good addition to us, Michael. Um, you know, he's a young lad, but he's, he's a 23-year-old boy, 23, 24, and he, he carries himself like a 28, 29-year-old. So, played a lot of games in this league, um, and he's here. You know, you can you can see the mentality in him already, the, the winning mentality. He's here to just to win, um, and and as all the rest of the, the rest of the boys have been here. So it's uh, I've been really pleased with him. Yeah. David Oldfield came in at the back end of last season to sort of have a look, and I think the players have all said in the interviews, and David himself said, you know how how well the group have responded to him, and um, that's what you need, isn't it? A strong assistant who can who can help you. Yeah, he's when he came in the back end of last season. I think um, he was here for two three weeks. Um, it was good that David could see us in close quarters, and we could see him. Um, but one thing that stood out for me right away was uh, his authority, is how loud he coaches in terms of his voice. Um, he gets people to, to listen. Uh, sometimes you don't know whether he's serious or he's joking, which is a good thing. Um, but he, it, it, the sessions he's put on, the, the coaching sessions that he, he's delivered have been really, really you know, top class. And uh, I think the boys really, really enjoy working with him. I know I do and I know the, the staff do. So um, that was a real, real important sign for us. Yeah, you obviously got players who've been left behind. Who obviously the job now is to try and find them clubs, and that's what Barry's there to do. I guess is to get those players out, so you've got the squad size you need. Yeah, I mean, I've mentioned this before. You know, it's important that uh, it's important that those players try and find themselves a club as soon as possible, really, because um, 
you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be um, sat here when the season starts and, and not being involved in the training with the first team, and um, that's that's the biggest thing for them. But Barry is working hard. You know, myself, I'm working hard. The chairman's working hard. We're all working hard to try and get them to a club where they're going to play some games. Um, you know, it's it, sometimes you've got to you've got to think your career before money, really. Um, and that's the advice I'd give some of the boys. Yeah, that wasn't uh, somebody trying to get into the room. They were just uh, ringing the doorbell, I think. Um, in terms of the, the players, obviously, that you're trying to bring in still, I mean, you obviously want to look in the right-back area to strengthen. You've had a look this week. You're going to have a look again next week. Is that something you're not rushing into at this moment in time? You want to get the right one in? Possibly. Um, I think uh, in terms of the, the full-back uh, position, I think we rushed into a couple last year. Um, good players, but possibly not the right mentality. Um, so it's important that we, you know, we do get the right one in. Um, preferably one that could, you know, c can come straight into our team, not a squad player. Um, that's what we're looking at. You know, if if we do for any reason change train, change of shape in, in game, we haven't got a recognised right back in the in the in the building. So we are looking. We've got options, um, but we will not rush into one, and we'll make sure the one that comes in is the right one. In terms of the games, they come thick and fast. Obviously, St Albans on, on Saturday. Um, no surprises. I guess you'll be playing two forty-five minutes to give everyone a, a chance to get fitness in the legs. Yeah, we'll play 45-45 the first two games. Um, then we'll step it up into 60-60 with the, the 120-minute games. Um, we've got the Wolves game in between, which, which the players will play 45 minutes each in. Um, and then we've got the 290s. So it's been perfect the way you know we've structured it, structured it even the training this week it's been it's been really really good um you can see every day the players are getting fitter sharper the intensity in the training sessions are going up um so we're looking forward to the games the games are about getting fitness um getting your match fitness you know i've always said you can you can um train as much as you want but it's about the games really so um without t looking too much into the results yes i want to win them but it is mainly about getting the fitness and getting the and getting the minutes into the players.